ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ सॉल्यूट्स एंड मैक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स थ्रू द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन नॉट ऑलवेज कम्प्लीटेड बाई फेसिलिटेटेड डिफ्यूजन समटाइम्स इट नो नीड्स द मॉलिक्यूल्स और प्रोटीन्स दैट इज सिचुएटेड इन इन साइड द मेम्ब्रेन एंड दोज प्रोटीन्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स इज नोन एज ट्रांसपोर्टर्स और चैनल्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी कंसर्न आई एम अनिमेश एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ चैनल एंड अ ट्रांसपोर्टर सो लेट्स जंप इन टू द टॉपिक फर्स्ट वन द सेल वेम रेन कंसिस्ट टू टाइप्स ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स और टू टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट प्रोटीन्स वन इज द वन ऑफ द मिस क्लासीफाइड इज चैनल प्रोटीन्स एंड अनदर वन इज क्लासीफाइड इन टू ट्रांसपोर्टर्स so what about the channel proteins so channel proteins are the proteins that discriminates mainly on the basis of size and the electron char charges of the uh, molecule electric charges of the molecule when the channel is open any ion or molecules that is small enough and carries the appropriate charges then those molecules can pass through these channel proteins from outside of the cell to inside of the cell or vice versa the transporters transporters on the other hand transfers only those molecules and ions that is only fit into specific that is fit into specific bi uh, binding sites on the proteins that means the transporter proteins has the special uh, binding site within it and these binding sites these binding sites works just like enzyme substrate uh, reactions okay so here uh, these binding site have a uh, specific properties and the molecules which can fit only through this binding site can pass through these transporters so in basically transporters are classified into three major categories one is uniport and the one is symport and third one is antiport so what about uniport antiport and symport so basically uniport is a transporter molecule in which um, the molecules uh, passes the cell membrane from one side to another side and in this uniports only single type of molecule can passes through this uniports so basically if we consider this is a cell membrane and this is the uniport protein so specifically one kind of molecule that pass from one side of the cell to another side of the side of the cell let's take an example of glute that is glucose transporter transporters okay so glutes or glucose transporters facilitates only the movement of glucose from one side of the cell to another side of the cell and this is the cell membrane so this is the cell membrane okay so glutes are now classified into five categories that is glute 1 to 5 so whenever glute 1 to 4 is specialized for transporting the glucose ions glute 5 specialized to transport the fructose ions or fructose molecules from one side of the cell to another side of the cell so that is the uh, uniport so in case of uniport only one kind of molecule so one kind of molecule can pass so next is symport so in this type of uh, channel proteins or transporters so in this kind of transporters two different molecules can pass through uh, from the outside of the cell to inside of the cell or vice versa so let's take in uh, here an example of sglt so sglt that is sodium glucose transporters so sodium glucose transporters or sglt find uh, uh, situated on the intestinal cells intestinal cells it is observed in the intestinal cells and what is 
the function of SGLT. So SGLT basically provides the transportation of sodium and glucose molecules from one side of the cell to another side of the cell. So basically it facilitates two sodium ions, two sodium ions and one molecule of glucose, one molecule of glucose from outside of the cell to the inside of the cell. So basically two different kinds of molecules can pass through from one side of the cell to another side of the cell. So two different kind of kinds of molecule can pass through these transporters from one side of the cell to another okay and the third important transporter proteins is antiport antiport so in this type of transporter proteins basically they are ATP driven pumps so basically these are ATP driven pumps okay ATP driven pumps in which one molecule is transferred from outside of the cell and another molecule is transferred inside of the cells that means the two different uh, transportation occurs in here and two different molecule uh, passes to, to the opposite direction of the cell membrane okay so basically in case here so let's take an example of sodium potassium ATP is transporter okay so in the case of sodium potassium ATP is transporter here three molecules of sodiums getting out from the cell so three molecules of sodiums getting out of the cell and two molecules of potassium comes inside the cell with the help of a ATP with the help of ATP so basically the direction is opposite of the two molecules and those two molecules that is sodium and potassium are those are two ions that is sodium and potassium so though these two ions are basically come across different uh, sides of the cell and they are their direction is basically opposite so antipores are basically the, those transporter proteins which helps to different kinds of molecules or ions to pass through the opposite direction from the cell so basically one is coming inside inside to outside and other one is from outside to inside so this is the uh, mechanism of antipores so antipores are also found in uh, intestinal cells so basically two different different molecules or ions passes opposite through antipodes okay through antipodes so <clears throat> these are the three different types of transporters one is an uniport that is a steam port and third one is the antipode if you like that video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching